Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Child, it is the 4th of July when I tell you it is storming right now. We went from having 98, 99 degree weather yesterday to now there's like torrential rain. So hopefully by this afternoon, the rain will go away and we can barbecue and stuff. But until then, honey, I'm going to bless y'all with this tea. So what's going down is this. We got to talk about this Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan team. So if you guys do not know, this, their relationship has been causing controversy for a while now. So let me go ahead and take y'all back a bit. So what's going down is this. Basically, Larsa Pippen is the ex-wife of former NBA star Scottie Pippen, who is Michael Jordan's right-hand man. And up until, you know, the Last Dance documentary, we thought Scottie and Michael had this perfect relationship and they were still bros. And we found out otherwise because Scottie Pippen has been blasting Michael Jordan any chance that he gets. So what's even more crazy is that Scottie Pippen and Larsa Pippen have been divorced now for a few years. And now it is official that Marcus Jordan, who is Michael Jordan's son, who is now Scottie Pippen's nemesis, is smashing and dating his ex-wife, Larsa Pippen. I hope you guys are still following me here, okay? So this has caused a lot of controversy. Um, even Tamron Hall basically confronted Larsa about this relationship. I think Larsa handled it pretty well. Um, you know, Tamron Hall don't play with her questions, honey. She she asks those questions that people want to know. So y'all go ahead and check this out really quick. We, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we, we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years at where? At a party. Then? At a party. I, like an LA party. Did you know who he was at the time? Well, yeah, we're, we have a lot of mutual friends. And so we're kind of in the same circle. So we've been around each other for like the last four years. So you're at a party and did someone introduce you? How did you connect? Yeah, we were um, at a party and they were like, oh, you know, Marcus, Marcus Jordan. And I was like, oh, hey. And so we became friends. We both kind of grew up from, you know, we're both from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like we have a lot in common, like a lot of common ground, you know, like. Even with the age difference, and I don't say that, I don't yeah. want to say it flippantly because age difference, men get, yeah. you know, able to date people 30 years younger in some cases without judgment. He's 16 years younger, other than the Bulls. Like, what do you have in common? We have everything in common. Really? Well, I don't, I've dated guys that were a lot older than me. Scotty is 10 years older than me. Scotty's 10 years older than me. Yeah, you. so I don't really view age as, you know, you're mature, yeah. you're not yeah, immature. I, agree. I don't, I, agree. I don't feel like that determines if you're mature or not. Well, I, I feel think... like if you can go, if you can drink at 21, <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can go to war at 18. Like, you know, there's different circumstances that I feel like age doesn't really um, determine your level of maturity. I think the age for happy, I feel like we get along, he's my best friend. And so Marcus I, is your best friend. Yeah, I feel like we have a lot in common. But as I was saying, friend. you could date anybody in the world. But Why you know, date Michael Jordan's it, son? I didn't plan it like that. It wasn't like it was planned like that. I think we were just together a lot with our friends, and it just so happened. It wasn't like something I like planned. You got to remember, like I feel like for me being, you know, married to someone that was an athlete or whatever, it's really hard. You get scrutinized yeah. a lot. People don't think you should have a life once you get divorced. Yeah. They think you're once you're divorced, you're like done. And I feel like I've overcome so many different obstacles because I feel like I should have love. I should be able to date who I want. I should be able to like, you know, like live happy and go, you know, just go wherever I want to go and not be judged every time I'm seen with and someone. All right. So you guys just saw a snippet of that interview. So now there's another interview with both Marcus Jordan and Larsa, and they're talking about how they first met. And, you know, a lot of people do assume that, you know, maybe Larsa raised him or she was, you know, his childhood babysitter. But they're saying they didn't know each other, you know. And I think that can kind of make sense because with all the animosity that Scottie Pippen has towards Jordan, I can see where Scottie probably never came around Michael Jordan once they weren't playing together for the Chicago Bulls because he married Larsa later on in life. So I could see that being true, but it's still odd, though. It's still very odd to me that of all the people you can date, you're going to date your ex-husband's now nemesis's son. 
But they do seem somewhat happy together, so I can't hate. You know what I'm saying? Love comes in all forms. Y'all go ahead and check out this interview with the two of them. So who made the first move? You did. I beg to disagree. What? I think, you know, again, I was looking at her across the room, but we were looking at each other for right, sure. But is that the first move, looking at each other? No, nah, you know, I don't think that's the first move. But I definitely, I, I'd say I, I, I made the first move. Because I do remember going on a trip to the Bahamas, mm -hmm. taking a big group of friends, hit you with a DM, just saying, hey, look, you know, we're going to the Bahamas. You're more than welcome to come. It's going to be a good time. So I'd say that was probably the first move. You know, it's funny. I feel like a lot of people don't know that I could never really put you under your name on my phone. <laughs> yeah, that's. I, I didn't find that out until we started dating either. So I had you under Mark Jacob. Yeah. That's like, I don't know why I had you under Mark Jacob, but like, that's what I had you <laughs> on my phone because I didn't want anyone to know when you would call me. I just yeah. wanted it to be very like. Well, I feel like when we first started dating, it was random. Like mm -hmm. when we would talk, it'd be like I was going on a trip or I'm coming to Miami or, mm -hmm. you know, somehow we were going to bump into each other. So, you know, that's that's kind of funny that uh, I was stored under Mark Jacob. <laughs> so funny. Um, but yeah, I feel like that was the very beginning. Knowing that you were at a position earlier when we first met that you didn't want to take on all the smoke and so not all the smoke but like you didn't I guess you yeah. framed it that way like there might have been smoke with us dating obviously there has been very, yeah. a lot of well, interest I, so, I do want to say this I, I you know I totally forgot to talk about this but I feel uh -huh. like a lot of people thought that we knew each other our whole lives yeah, that definitely was a common like, uh, like I threw your like fifth birthday or something. Yeah, like I don't was... <laughs> know. Just like I'm like, no, by the way, I never met you before. I literally used to, last year I was telling everyone, I'm like, look, I think I might be single forever because there's no one that's cute, funny, smart. <laughs> you know, I do the whole skit. Exactly. And then when I like when you and I first got together, I was like, Oh my God, this is the guy. Like, this is the guy I prayed for because I really prayed for a best friend and I feel like I got my best friend. Yeah. And there's not like a better place to be because I feel like I could never let you down because you are my best friend. Yeah. No, I feel like that too. I feel like we make each other better mm -hmm. and both of us like hold each other to a higher standard, you know, and we don't want to let each other down. I feel like totally. They, I love know. that about us. Yeah. yeah exactly. We're pretty amazing. So now everybody has been waiting to hear what Michael Jordan thinks of the situation. We already know Scotty is not here for it. He's upset. And the divorce was messy. Not only is Scotty Pippen having to pay child support as he should, because they have four children together. Now two of their kids are grown. They still have two minor children. So on top of her being awarded child support, uh, spousal support, she is also getting a part of his pension plan from the NBA. So Larsa really came up off of Scotty, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I feel no ways. So yeah, she came out like a bandit in this divorce. And now, you know, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus, granted he has his own money, but you know, they get to kind of live off of Scotty's earnings and stuff like that. So I know it's a kick in the balls to poor Scotty. So now anyhow, what we have all been waiting for Everybody has been wanting to know, what does Michael Jordan think of this relationship? How does he feel about his son? You know what I'm saying? Basically dating his ex-teammate's ex-wife. And so this video of Michael Jordan has gone viral all over social media. And this is what Michael Jordan had to say about the situation. He basically does not approve. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Laza Pippen together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? Do you think he's going to ask her to marry him? All right, so y'all just heard Michael Short, and he was like, no. No. <laughs> that no came from his chest, honey. He said it with his whole chest. No. <laughs> so he does not approve of his son, Marcus Jordan, dating Larsa Pippen. And I don't blame him. It's, the whole thing is just odd. You know, like I said, yeah, granted, she's not rocking the cradle. He's a grown man. Marcus is free to do what he wants to do. But I think aesthetically, it just looks weird. It just looks weird that you're dating your ex-husband's teammate's son. You know, but honey, if they like it, I love it. This is rich people's problems. It's above my pay grade. You know that's how they get down in these celebrity circles. But I mean, it's it's very interesting because again, Marcus is grown. He's 32 years old. Larsa is 48, damn near 50. Um, but they seem to really be into each other. Hopefully it will last longer than just a few seasons. I don't know if they're gonna get married, but I don't know. I, I just find the whole relationship weird. I don't think it's bad or good. I just think it's weird. You know what I'm saying? But Larsa is the type. She's going to do her. 
Um, she doesn't care. She's going to go after that bag. She is where the money resides, okay? So now one other person decided to, you know, put their input in the situation. They want to give Michael Jordan some advice. I'm not sure who asked her, but she is providing advice nonetheless. So let's go ahead and check out who had to say what to Michael Jordan. Well, look at here. It was none other than Blueface's mama. So this is what Blueface's mother, Carlisa, nobody asked her her thoughts or opinions, but she decided to give it to Michael Jordan anyways. So she says this, don't feel bad, Mike. He about to get ran through just like mine's did, but a hard head makes a soft ass. Stay in his ear like you did them ninjas on the court and F the media when they tell you your son grown. Cause you out here in these sucker streets, that don't mean shit. Call me if you need some support. Cause I know you see me dealing with it all year, but God. First of all, Carlisa, Michael Jordan does not know who you are. I highly, I'm talking about how I could put a hundred dollars on it. That's how you're going to get out of me. Michael Jordan don't know who you are. You and him do not roll in the same circles, okay? You are Blueface's mother. We technically should know who you are, but unfortunately we do, okay? Michael Jordan ain't checking for you, Blueface, Krishan, or y'all's drama. So that part just had me cracking up. I know you've seen everything I've been going through with my son. No, he hasn't. He's living his best life right now in Paris, ma'am, okay? <laughs> She's a trip. You know what I'm saying? The fact that she thinks she's like, like as famous as her son, her son is barely famous. And now she thinks that people like Michael Jordan should know who she is, but you know, it is what it is. Um, regardless of the situation, Marcus is grown, Blueface is grown, and grown folks are going to do what grown folks do. All you can do is pray for your kids and try and guide them to make the right decisions in life. But unfortunately, Kids are going to do what they want to do, especially once they're grown. You know, it's hard for us to force them to date certain people. We want the best for our children. But yeah, sometimes they have to fall and bump their heads and, you know, make mistakes in dating. And then eventually, hopefully they will find the right one. So anyways, y'all, I leave the question up to you guys. How do y'all feel about this story? How do you guys feel about Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan dating? And how do you guys feel about Michael Jordan's response? Because that was a that was a strong no. That was from his gut. No. No. <laughs> that was from his gut. He is not here for this relationship. And then last but not least, how do y'all feel about uh, Carlisa, Blueface's mother, you know, offering her opinion and offering her advice and asking Michael Jordan to call her in case he needs, you know, advice on this situation? Girl, bye. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Feel free to like the video. Feel free to share the video as well. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy your day. Happy 4th of July once again. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.